A little bit. Um, you know, we take everything that we do around here seriously, but um, we're, we're talking about it, and I think that's a big thing, just getting in guys' heads that, um, you know, it's Big Ten season. This is uh, where we have to start to achieve all of our goals for this year. Um, we got to go through the Big Ten. We have to play really well. Um, we know that we're going to face some really good matchups. Josh, you, you were over there in 2012, right? Mm-hmm. What do you remember about that night? As Urban Meyer said, that's the first time he saw a defense almost quit playing hard. Uh, from that moment on, uh, you know, he put down the edict, you know, you got to play hard to play and all this kind of stuff. What do you remember about that? Do you remember that being sort of a turning point yeah. for you guys as a program almost? Um, that was just wasn't very good of a performance. I, I just don't think we finished very well. And you could see it on the film. And I remember coming in the next day and coach just pulling up plays and pointing out where guys just weren't playing. Um, they weren't finishing. They weren't doing their assignments. And so that was huge. And we saw a game there where uh, we were up a little bit and, and guys just let up. And so that's one thing that we're not going to do. And uh, Indiana has given us some really good games in the past. And I know that their, uh, their offense is just firing right now and they're playing really well. Uh, they score a lot of points. I know that they've got a pretty balanced attack right now. Mm -hmm. um, they can do a lot of things. So that's going to be one thing we're going to have to focus on. Have you watched much film yet? Don't not yet. Uh, when I'm done here, I'm going to go watch them. From what you know at this point, what them firing, what, what is it? What do you think their offense is? Is it the quarterback? Is it the running back? Or? Um, I think that it has a lot to do with the quarterback. I know he's a, a really good player, and um, he makes those guys go. He's a great leader. And I know that their running back's a, a really good guy, too. Um, people have been talking about him a lot and what he's been able to do. Uh, they throw the ball pretty well, so obviously they've got some, some talent out there on the edges, and so we're just going to have to find ways to defend it. I know uh, it's a new team this year, but last year's defense, you guys faced great running backs in the Big Ten almost every week. It seems like Jordan Howard is a very good running back. In general, with the Ohio State defense that you know, how do you feel like you guys handle a good running back and a good rushing attack? Um, we just come up with answers to defend those type of things. And um, it's it's more of a pride thing than anything else to be able to defend against a good running back. You just don't want somebody uh, running right through your defense. And I guess that's something that we're a little bit upset about from last week is um, how they were able to cut through our defense in some of those plays. Um, so we'll definitely be thinking about that. Um, in terms of handling good running backs also, it takes a full defensive effort. And we know that our D-line is going to give it our all. Um, our linebackers have to be prepared for that, but you get the secondary involved a little bit too, just knowing um, what they've got to do and, and some of the ways that we can use them creatively. What was happening against Western Michigan? Why, why were they getting some of those? I think Urban called it separation, separating from the defense. Why was that happening on Saturday? Uh, they did a great job of, of scheming us up. Um, they had some of those plays that we had never seen before. Um, we were trying to come up with answers, and I think we did toward the end. Um, we were doing some things a little bit differently defensively also because we knew that they had some weapons on the outside. Um, and so we were trying to defend that. So you guys were kind of maybe thinned out a little bit? A little bit, but um, that's still not an excuse. We, we take pride in that. Joshua, uh, you were obviously a football fan before you were an Ohio State football player. If someone had told 10-year-old Joshua that Indiana and Ohio State was playing and game day was considering going there, what would you have said? Well, let's go. Um, you know, I guess it's not necessarily the first one that pops into your head, but uh, it means it's got to be a good matchup. Uh, Ten-year-old Joshua would probably be excited just to, to see some Big Ten action on game day. Probably got popcorn and some pretzels sitting on the couch, maybe a little high C, a juice box, Capri Sun, who knows. Um, you know, and just get ready for, for some good football on a Saturday. Uh, 2012, last year they gave you all a game. They were leading in the third quarter. Uh, what is it about the matchup here that, uh, you know, makes them competitive with you guys? Uh, they're just, they're solid, you know. Um, they come out with something. They give it their all every time they play us. Um, you know, last year they had a great running back yeah. who was, uh, yeah, and, you know, he gave us a little bit of work. Um, and I know that their defense does some things, too, that can give offenses a little bit of trouble. So um, they just come out kind of, you know, ready to go. And that's something that we have to do. We just have to be from the start of the game, uh, ready to do what we do, um, be able to make adjustments. And I think that's going to be huge. And then just continue to play throughout the game. Kevin Wilson's known as a really pretty sharp offensive guy, the head coach over there. Can you mm -hmm. tell when there's a, can you tell when you're playing defense that the, there's a guy over there designing things that's a little bit ahead of the curve a little bit? You yeah. I mean, Joshua, sometimes? Yeah, and I think that's exactly what we saw uh, this past week. Honestly, and um, we knew that coming into the game. 
their their coach was really good and we knew that he was going to be big on some of those in-game adjustments and some of the stuff that he schemed up and then mm -hmm. you get through the Big Ten and you see some of these coaches out here and they just do a really good job and they've got their guys up in the booth they see something and they know exactly how to attack it um, so that's something that we're able to combat but I think that we do a pretty good job with our staff of seeing those things um, you know our defensive coaches are always looking out and they pay a lot of attention to detail and we've got enough guys on our defense I think that we're smart enough and mature enough to handle making some changes throughout games.